an employee badge. We've been here a lot. This is an exciting company, and it's an exciting, exciting time for this industry. Really happy to be here uh, with Governor Whitmer uh, for her leadership in this state and for all she does. Um, and President uh, Biden, welcome back virtually to, to Michigan. Look, uh, this company, Hemlock Semiconductor, is generating good-paying jobs. That's what I've been focused on and the reason that I've been here so many times. Good-paying jobs right here in mid-Michigan. And that's why I'm really pleased uh, that I was able to help the House pass, and we were joined by our senators in passing the Chips and Science Act. Uh, this bill will boost U.S. manufacturing. It'll help create sustainable, good-paying jobs right here in mid-Michigan, including union jobs uh, in the auto industry, which is really critical. The Chips and Science Act will also help us compete with our global competition to help win the 21st century, uh, to help own the 21st century economy. We're excited to get this bill to the president's desk. It'll boost manufacturing, support jobs, and critically, it'll bring down everyday costs for American families, giving the supply chain challenges uh, that we're facing right now, this will have an impact. This relieving this chip shortage will have an impact on those costs. One of my top priorities in Congress has been dealing with the semiconductor chip shortage because it's really an issue of national competitiveness and national security. The chips were invented here in the United States, but not made here now. We can't depend on other countries for such a critical com component to our economy. And I was really pleased to help usher this through the House. I'm a member of the Science, Space, and Technology Committee, as well as Ways and Means, and we were able to help move this legislation and, and get it to the President's desk with the partnership that we have in the Senate. It helped us, this helps us deal with the economic challenges we face. We've had too many of our friends and family members laid off, facing uncertainty because of this chip shortage. In fact, thousands of GM trucks made in my hometown of Flint sit in parking lots, unable to be sold because they lack those internationally sourced semiconductors needed to finish their production. America's economy, Michigan's workers should not have to rely on foreign semiconductor chips. With our bipartisan legislation, I emphasize that, this bipartisan bill will bring chip production back to Michigan and the United States more particularly. That's important, isn't it? And again, lowering costs for Michigan families, lowering costs for consumers, and solidifying those good-paying jobs. I'm also particularly pleased that this legislation includes $2 billion specifically for legacy chips used in automobiles, fueling what I have been advocating for. So this legislation, um, which I helped introduce in the House, is really a critical moment, a semiconductor investment tax credit called the FABS Act. The investment tax credit will help facilitate long-term investment in chips and in factories and tools to make these uh, chips. By using our tax code, we ensure these provisions in our economic growth will happen as quickly as possible, unleashing the power of private investment through the incentives that the tax code can provide. This is really about building a strong American semiconductor manufacturing industry to support manufacturing in this country in the long term. This helps secure our economic future and controls our destiny to outcompete our number one competition, and that's China. So I'm pleased that in Congress, Democrats and Republicans were able to come together to get this legislation across the finish line and to the president's desk. And look, this was a team effort. I'm really pleased uh, that the House and the Senate, Democrats and Republicans could come together around this, and I now want to turn to one of those allies in this effort, a real strong voice for Michigan, and that's Senator Gary Peters. Thank you all very, very much. Senator Peters.